distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to XQM, the One Million Forex World Championship. Tonight is going to be a big night because there will be all the finalists. They would come here and trade on the stage and everyone in this room will witness and we are going to definitely find out who would be the winner tonight together. Everyone right here. And of course, I'm very proud to be here. And we're very proud to bring all the finalists to Bangkok, Thailand in the final live event. Everything, everything here you see here will be broadcast live on our Facebook. So people that are not here with us from all around the world can witness the final round together. And it's my great honor here. My name is Sir Penchusi, and I'll be your MC for tonight's event. But before we start and find out that tonight, the winner will definitely win back half a million all together. All the finalists here, they are going for half a million US dollars here, and that's a huge amount of money. And all together here, that's a one million dollars here that all the prizes that we have been going on since the qualifying round, then they progress to the semi-final round, and now exactly all this here that will be coming up here will be in the final round and the winner is coming up soon. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to get started tonight, if you're ready, I would like to introduce our honorable instructor that will be moderating during the finalists. They are trading right here up on stage and we'll have a live broadcast to Facebook for all the people in the world to witness as well. So please give a big round of applause to welcome my honorable instructor. First, Mr. Abramis Despotis, the founder and CEO of Trade Media and Global Head of Education for XM. And he's not here alone. He's coming up with Mr. Mario Pachadi, Chief Instructor of Trade Media. Wow. Well, you, you, you two gentlemen look, well, look very good tonight here and so ready for the final oh, round. Man. Are you ready? Always ready. How about you, Mario? We are ready to get started. So in order to get started here, well, trade is actually not my thing. So I think that best is I would move on the stage. I will pass on the stage to both of my gentlemen up here. And you can introduce all the finalists we up here on the that. stage. So ladies and gentlemen, have fun for the final round. And a big round of applause for Amaris and Mario. <laughs> All right, so everyone, I had a 20-minute speech ready, but all the traders back there were ready to kill me for delaying them from their trading. So, Marius... I think we're ready I to welcome them to I the stage. I think we should go out of the stage and start getting the process. We have an amazing introduction for our finalists. So, let's go.
amazing welcome for our finalists. So I think we shouldn't delay them anymore. So let's start with our finalists. So our first finalist is Anu from India. Let's give him a round of applause. Good luck. Good luck. And for our second finalist, we have Mr. Clouseau from Brazil. He needs tools. Get me with that. Good luck. You know you have my hair, buddy. Good luck. Good luck. And for third, we have Mr. Tabet from Chittagong, from Bangladesh. Good luck. Good luck. Our fourth contestant, Mr. Omar, nicknamed Ferry from Argentina. Good luck. <laughs> you are number <laughs> one. What's going on? Thank you, Steve. Good luck. Our fifth finalist is playing at home, and it is Jigsaw from Thailand. Oh, 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 oh. He's late, bro! China. There were two more finalists that didn't make it to Thailand, and as per our terms and conditions, they are being disqualified from the competition. So the competition will be with these eight finalists here. All right? So, I think, I uh... think uh, even though I saw they didn't sleep much last night, okay, but I think that we are ready to start. So, are we ready for the final hour of the World Championship in five, four, four three, three, two, two one? Let the champion! Alright. Oh my, I see the Euro Yen drop and I remember one of our contestants had a very good position in Euro Yen. But uh, we'll see that in a minute. 
So, hello everyone again and welcome to the final round. We have our eight contestants there. They are already on their computers and they are already trading. As you know, they will be competing for half a million dollars with the first three getting 150,000, 100,000, and 75,000. Now, it was an eventful 35 hours so far. Me and Marios have been watching the trades that they are doing, and the ranks were changing continuously. Now, all contestants opted to trade the majors with the highest leverage as they want to make fast profits. And let's see what's happening. Well, in the first few hours yesterday, we saw six of the contestants take on positions and two of them stay outside of the market waiting for that right opportunity. That was Ferry and Lee from China. But in the morning yesterday, local time, we saw Jigsaw take the lead. Well, one of my personal favorites. Now, Anu was in a close second at the time. He took a nice short on the USD yen position, going with the trend and closing at a profit. He also took a Euro sterling position, and this put him into the lead with Jigsaw in second place with a short Euro yen position, which actually he's still holding. Now, subsequently, Anu opened the long Euro sterling against the trend, and this pushed him lower in the ranking as the ongoing trend continued against him. All right, so later on in the day, Ferry from Argentina took the lead with a nice long Euro Yen trade. It was a very good trade there, Marios. Okay, but he got a bit greedy and didn't close his uh, position and then reversed and he went back to fifth place before reversing and finishing number one by the New York close. Now, Jigsaw, on the other hand, went with the hourly trend of the Euro Yen, which was in a downtrend, and this pushed him into first position towards around the end of the New York session last night when we were watching them. Um, this was a very nice trade, particularly I, I liked it, but he did close it a little bit early before reaching his 161 projection target. Had he held on, this could have given him more profits and uh, maybe he would have still been holding on to that first that's place. That's absolutely true. Now, on the other hand, Ariel from Indonesia, we have baptized our sniper, yes? He only took one trade yesterday, made a 10 pips profit and then uh, we don't know what happened maybe he went for a massage because we didn't see him trading throughout the rest of the session <laughs> well rabadik from um, algeria was second <laughs> but towards the end of the new york session he was actually in third place having made this profits from a short usdn position now we've called him our second sniper yes he then made his profits by shorting the usdn and most likely joined Ariel FX for a massage because we didn't see any more activity from him either. <laughs> well, Cleuso here from Brazil, uh, he took a very risky dollar cut trade, but then uh, the market was good with him and he closed it break even. And then he took a very nice euro dollar trade with the trend of the market that pushed him to first place just a while ago. On the other hand, Chidagong from Bangladesh made most of his profits on a short Euro USD position. But his short Euro Yen position, which was still in play until last night, pushed him down into fifth place. So Li from China was one of the traders that did not take any trades early on, waiting for the right opportunity to enter the market, which was very good. Okay, but his uh, dollar Yen trade didn't pay him up a lot and he ended up in the last places by the end of the night. So in a nutshell, this was the picture we had last night. We had uh, Jigsaw, Clauso now uh, in the first places. Now towards, um, well, how long could we sit down and look at their trades? Me and Avramis got a little bit bored during the night, so we started taking a few side bets on who's going to be winning this competition. So what about you, Avramis? What did, what did you think? Well, Arya, you know that after looking at the guy's trades, uh, I have got two favorites now. The, my first favorite is Clauso here from Brazil, which uh, I like his style because he went long with the trend. Okay, you know I like to follow the trend. It's the best way to make money. So uh, Clauso here is one of my favorites. So Brazil and my second favorite here is from Argentina. 
And uh, he's also a trend follower. That's uh, why I choose them. And uh, I think uh, we have good chances of winning this competition. What do you think, Maria? Well, I particularly like Jigsaw last night, taking a look especially at his Euro Yen position at the time of the entry. But after seeing him get out a little bit too early, um, losing that first position, I'm hoping today he can push back. So my personal favorite so far is, uh, is Jigsaw from Thailand. And my number two favorite, which when we placed our bets yesterday, yeah. was, um, was Ariel FX. Ariel FX from, from Indonesia. Indonesia. Yes, yes. Very Who good. his approach, he said in our interview, was Martin Gale and uh, scalping, which is not my kind of trading. I know it's not your cup of tea. Either. Definitely not. Um, but in this style of competition, it could pay off. We'll take a look in a while at the rankings and see what's going on now. Okay, so this was the story last night. Then uh, I went to sleep. I don't know if Marios went for a massage. Uh, but uh, now let's go and see what the current rankings are, yes? Marie, let's see what is happening. Well, at current time, my favorite Jigsaw is in the lead again. Oh, no! Okay, so Jigsaw's account is at 11,750. And in a close second, Klauso from Brazil. Come on, Klauso! 11,100. Okay, so, whoa, oh, we're changing. Klauso are changing. There is a competition there, but Jigsaw's are shot away. And number four is Lick from China. And then we have Anu. From India. As number five with uh, Chida Kong as number six, Ariel FX, uh, well, he was one of your favorites. He was one of my favorites. Yes, okay. He was the, he's the wild card. Okay. He was the wild card. He has moved to seventh place and counting. And uh, Rabat, Rabat is... In eighth place. In the eighth place currently, now, yes? Of course, to say about this competition, a little bit of information. This competition has been going on for the past 10 months, one round every month. Um, with more than 130,000 unique traders taking part from 189 countries. Now, of course, when you get to beat 130,000 people and you're at this table on the final table, everyone is considered a winner. Everyone is leaving today with a significant prize. Definitely, Marius. I agree with you, but it's one thing being number one and of the 130, and it's another thing being number eight of the 130,000, yes? It is. Okay. And the prizes are also significantly different. The... So in first place we have $150,000. Yeah. In second place we have $100,000. And in third place we have $75,000. All right, very good. So let's go and have a look. Well, if we see, we've got some action now between second and third place. Klaus and Ferry, second oh, and third Oh, they are both right my now. guys, yes? Yeah, well, my guy is uh, first so far. Okay. So, I want to hear some support for Jigsaw, who's from Thailand, and he's playing in <laughs> Thailand today. Huh? All right, all right, but it's not over yet. We have uh, oh, uh, almost 45, 50 minutes to go. So... Is the news out? Yeah, there were some news at uh, 3.30. Okay, That's, so uh, Jigsaw, who's in first place, we see now he's holding on to the Euro Yen which we saw that hourly trade yesterday, that hourly trend being in a downtrend, but now what we see is that that news acted as a catalyst. Euro Yen just moved another so let's have a 40 look at pips, this trade. putting Jigsaw in the lead. Excellent. So Jigsaw, open positions, shorted. He started shorting from around 129.30 area. So somewhere in this area, he, he targeted it yesterday, he closed, he reopened today. So, I mean, looking at that chart, that is uh, quite a nice entry and one of the reasons yes, why I, I chose it. I can see there is a very nice swing there as well, taking him down. So um, I mean, if we look at some other indicators as well and we throw on our, um, our Euro Yen chart. So, we see here what's going on on the four hour, just to get a little bit of information yeah. there. Four hour is breaking below moving averages at current time. So, we are having a stronger downtrend on the hourly at the moment. Our hourly, of course, completely below moving averages and actually testing the low at this time. All right, and now, you know, the problem I see is that uh, my second one, Luzo, is also short Euro Yen. So unless he changes his game, he will not manage to pass 
Jigsaw, who is also short Euro Yen, right? Yes. Okay. And so that uh, seems to be a problem for Luzo beating Jigsaw. Oh, we see Jigsaw. Hold on. No, Jigsaw still holding on to around two and something lots short. The same with about with Clouseau. So, I mean, well, again, 100,000 isn't bad, is it? Huh? Yeah, it's not <laughs> bad, but it's another thing being number one. It's another thing being number two, yes? Okay, so... Well, Jigsaw about $600 in front right now. Okay, so let's see if Ferry can make up the difference. So, Ferry is long sterling. Okay. Uh, it's going against him. Let's have a look at the sterling. Let's see if Ferry can manage to catch Jigsaw. All right, so, so Ferry, we have a sterling USD long, which is actually in losing territory. So I'm guessing he... He uh, opened it there at the figure, which was not uh, the best place to open the position. He could have opened it a bit lower. Just uh, below at 130. The, at the break there. So, but uh, let's see, it. I think it's going to move up and we are going to give uh, Jigsaw a run for his money. Because I see now the difference is becoming a bit smaller, right? Ferry has now passed him to number two and he's very near Jigsaw. Ferry, come on, let's go, we want to be number one, let's go, come on. Don't worry about this. what's his position there. Watch the, uh, the opponent. Okay, so Jigsaw is short Euro Yen. Very is long sterling dollar. Let's see who is going to win. Oh, we actually have Lee from China make it in into fourth place. We saw him oh, last, wow. last night. That's quite, That's, uh, quite an improvement. Yes, uh, so what positions does he have, Maria? Uh, Lee has no open positions. Ah, he was the, the other person who went for a quick hit and run yesterday. Yeah, the sniper, yes. So he closed his positions. What positions did he have? How did he manage to power um, on to he fourth was place? He was USD and both short and long. So he's adapted to changing conditions in the market. Maybe to get up into that fourth place. Okay, and he's barely above 10,000, I see, which means that the remaining must have taken opposite position. I see uh, Ariel FX has, is on seventh place with 8,800, not very good going for him. And Rabati is in the last place with 8,300. Uh, they still can manage perhaps to turn the tide, but uh, it's going to be very difficult. So the competition is between Jigsaw, who is your favorite, Marie. Yes. yes, okay. I forgot my wallet, by the way. Okay, I don't have my wallet. With Classic. Me. <laughs> so we have Jigsaw number one, and then my two guys are second and third, right? Yes, yes. So how close are we there? So we've got in first place Jigsaw oh, at yes, 11,500. But, but Ferry is getting very close. The difference is only $300 now, yes? Whose chart is that one going down? Is that the one for. Uh, that is Jigsaw. That is Jigsaw. Okay, Gixo. so I see Jigsaw's profit is coming down. And show me Ferry, please. I see the sterling Take a is look. flying. Let's see Ferry. Okay, I see now. Oh. Excellent. Come on, let's go, Ferry. Let me some massage for Ferry. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Ferry. Where are we? Oh, still, Jigsaw is still uh, in the lead with 400. So we see the sterling taking off. Okay, that's good. That means that the sterling is going to play ball. All yeah. right, so let's see. If we take a look also at the Euro Yen, Euro Yen is still, still moving lower. Clouseau, what positions does Clouseau have? Like he's short Euro Yen, same as Jigsaw, so he's never going to be able to make up the difference unless he changes his direction. And then we have Anu and the rest of the guys below 10,000. So the first four are currently Jigsaw number one, Ferry number two, Clouseau number three, and Lee number four. Okay, so it looks that the competition is between these four guys. I uh, would be very surprised if the other guys managed to catch up, but you never know. Come on, don't give up. Let's go. 
Oh, we still have about Let's 45 go. minutes left in the competition. Well, plenty of time. Come on. Too many trades. You can still switch it. Open, close, open, close. Too many trades. You can make the money. Let's go. Oh, we see Sterling just going above the 1.30 mark. All right. That's a very good point. So what's Ferry doing? But still, the difference remains at $400. Yes? Why is that happening, Maria? What's going on in the market? Well, the sterling is going up with Ferry's position. That we know. Euro yen is holding steady at this moment, around about the 128.7 level. Okay. So, so I mean, they always have the decision to close. Jigsaw could actually close right now and see if the others can actually catch up. But that sterling is looking very, oh, very strong to be today. Good. I wonder if Jigsaw going to close. What do you think? I'm Go going and have a talk to him and see what he up to. Well, Mr. So, Jigsaw being my favorite. Oh, actually, Jigsaw. Huh? Mr. Jigsaw, Jigsaw, I put a bet on you. Very, okay. Huh? Very. Right. Come on. You have to win 150,000 and I have to win the bet from hey, Mario's, yes? Very huh? good, Come on, let's go. Where are we? Okay, we are catching up. We are catching up. Let's go. Jigsaw, sorry, but uh, I didn't bet on you, but it's okay. All right, I'm with you still. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so how are we guys doing here? There. Trade more. Two more trades to catch up. Close open, close open. You don't have much time for one position. Trade more, okay? Let's go, you can still do it. Lee, how is it going here? Everything good? Yes? Excellent, excellent, very nice. Let's continue. And this is Mario's... Uh, uh, my, my wild card. You are uh, the favorite, yes? Come on, Ariel, what's going on? What positions do we have here? I see long... Dollar yen. Oh, that's not very good. It's funny good. to see that most of the positions has been centered around Euro Maria, yen. Let, let's USD take a yen. look at the dollar yen. I'm very curious to to see what happened oh, there. The dollar yen did break to a new low just within okay. this hour. And uh, because I see that, uh, you remember, of course, the dollar yen was the the currency that was in a range in the daily. No more clear picture. Um, until last night, even. Until last night, wow, look at this development we've had here on the Euro, on the USD yen today. Okay, but you see, Ariel was long uh, dollar yen, right? He bought at 113.25. Can you put a line there at 113.25 to have a look where he was? So, it's a very interesting trade, this one, yes? So, he went long at 113.25. 25, this area we're looking at in here. Okay, so you, who, what do you think about this trade, Mario? Well, I mean, we discussed this last night with daily very rangy. The four hours were still uptrend yesterday. Yeah. Um, but we had a strong downtrend on the hourly. I mean, that was a critical point. We saw some traders going short on that, others going long. Exactly. Um, it turns out that the Bears won the battle in this case. Yeah, the Bears won the battle. But I mean, what did mistake did uh, Ariel do there? Okay, he was long, yes? It was a clear breakout down. He could have stopped his position and went short at that point, yes? And that would have covered his losses and could even have him in the lead, right? This is the problem. So one of the mistakes is that we didn't use stop losses here. All right, good. What else? Oh, I see Sterling is reversing, yes? Very. Come on, we have to make up the difference. Jigsaw, I see him very cool there. Short Euro Yen, number one. Loving it. Nothing to do, everything cool. tra la la tra la lo he's very happy. Excellent, very nice. All right, so. Marius. Well, I think, um... What's going on with the lead? Well, Sterling is going again below the 130 level. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. So, Ferry is coming down. 
but also Euro Yen. Yes, I see the difference is only $500 between first and second, but the battle for second and third is between Brazil and Argentina here. Yes, okay? The Latins. So, so come on, only $200, you go second, and then we go first, okay? But the first one also has Euro Yen position short, so you cannot catch first one, yes? Okay, you can only catch the second one. All right, so I guess Marie, my two guys uh, are breathing on your guys' neck. Uh, don't call it a comeback uh, yet, uh, don't call it a comeback. Not over until Let me hear some support for Jigsaw in the first place. Oh. All right. What a lovely crowd we have with us today <laughs> in Bangkok. I, I think they are more, more focused on eating at the moment and they are waiting for the last few minutes to join us into, the, into what is happening here. Yes, so what are we doing here? Ariel, Solar again, still holding the position. Oh, bravo, Marie. If I remember well, Ariel was the one who told us he's using Martingale, right? But he didn't really practice it that much today. Well, but I, uh, in this, this trade, in this trade, until this, last night, he was, uh, exactly, he was a good boy. This is exactly what he's doing, right? Okay, so I mean, let's describe Martingale and why people should not use the Martingale strategy in general. Yes. Go. Oh. So, Martingale is about adding to your losses and... Uh, all right, so let me understand. So let's take the example that we have here with Ariel, yes? Ah, yes, he bought, if we switch over to the um, USDN, he was long, yes? Yes, okay. Just before the breakout. All right. So he bought. The market moved against him. He bought more. As much as his leverage would allow, yeah, the market. I'm sure if he was allowed more, he'd buy more. He'd buy more. Because that is what uh, Martingale is all about. That's the game. But this is exactly what the problem is. Because Martingale, at some point, you'll run out of money or you'll run out of leverage. And then the result we see it, uh, on the screen. And then your account manager yeah. calls you up and gives you a nice little yeah. talk down, you know? <laughs> so. This is the story with Martin Gale and why we should not really use uh, Martin Gale strategies. <laughs> okay? All right, but our trend followers here. Yes? And my trend follower, and you my, are trend my follower pride and there. joy, Mr. Yes, Jigsaw. Mr. Jigsaw with the trend. Look at him so cool. Okay? I mean, guys, take, take this, show this face here. Yes? Jigsaw is very cool, relaxed. Not stressed, Sub not touching on his mouse. He's there, he has it, he has it. Yes? How about here, what's going on? Come on, vamos, vamos. Come on, vamos, vamos. Vamos, Argentina. Anyone from Argentina here? Ella Paris, yes. Let's go. Vamos, vamos, sterling dollar, right? Vamos, sterling dollar, let's go. Buy more, can you buy more? Can you buy more? No more money? No speaking. <laughs> buy more, buy more. <laughs> so what do we have here? Marius. Well, the Sterling is looking to find difficulty to break above 130, so I think it's about time you start going looking for that wallet of yours. <laughs> Double or nothing. <laughs> mine, mine. Double or nothing, mister. <laughs> yes. Come on, come on. Let's go, bravo, Sterling is going, double or nothing, Marius. You want, you want to, but second and third, they are both mine, so there is nothing there. By the way, if you find the last one, do you lose? So, <laughs> no, no, but if, if, if you're tired of betting on the first, we can still bet on the last. <laughs> so you got the first and you got the last, okay. Not, uh, not uh, very extreme, yes? Yeah, I prefer the more uh, more slow approach. So I have the second, I have the third. So let's just go through any open positions our traders have right now. So we've got Jigsaw in first place with short in Euro Yen that we were looking at earlier. We have Ferry long on Sterling USD. 
Then we have Mr. Cluzo in third place. Again, short Euro Yen, the same with Jigsaw. Lee from China in fourth place with no open trades. He, well, that is also a strategy, you know? I'm yeah. in the middle, okay. I've got a price. I shouldn't maybe but. overextend myself. And then in fifth place, we've got Anu from but India. The, what Lee is doing is still a, a strategic error because, I mean, the, he's fourth with $10,100. And the fifth one is miles away. He's 9,000, right? So Maybe he's content with that fourth place. True, but he has nothing to lose. He could still try so fourth and place, go for the third place. Fourth place is 40,000. 40, third place is 75,000. Ah, there is a big difference, yes? Lee, come on, let's go. Bravo, we are getting ready to trade now. Let's do it. Let's go for third place. Jackson, sabai, sabai. What are we doing here? Ooh, thinking of a contrarian trade on the dollar yen, huh? Buy dollar yen. Ah, you're going contrarian now. Okay, it might pay off. Why not? All right, so the market. Well, let's. Uh, Sterling resting at that just below that 1.3 level. Okay, let's uh, rest them a bit. Let them. Let's so see what's happening. 34 minutes of trading activity left. 34 minutes, plenty of time for my guys to come to first place. And yes, the difference is becoming smaller, Marius. Now, Ferry is only $300 away from Jigsaw, yes? Okay? which is very easy to do with Sterling. Vamos, Sterlina! Vamos! Let's go! So what's going on, Marie? Well, Sterling is moving ahead. Euro Yen is keeping stable. This is helping Ferry get closer. But Jigsaw is still $300 ahead. Still $300 ahead, okay. But uh, yes, I see the difference is not becoming smaller. I think uh, Ferry oh. needs to... Increase his position. <laughs> He's out of leverage. He's out of yeah. leverage. Ah, that's the bad leverage. So what can we do now? All right. So let's ask the audience. Audience, who do you think is going to win? Are we with Jigsaw? Yes. Very good. Excellent. All right, Dimitri Valentin Musigi. Let's do a, a break and let's come back and see if Dixo holds on to that first place. Ah, but I see Ferry is going to come back soon. Okay, let's see in a while, Maria. Let's see in a while what happens. Holding, still cool. Don't, 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 don't disturb my contestant. <laughs> don't disturb my contestant. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let, let's see. <laughs> I will focus on mine. Come on. Vamos, Terlina. Very, come on. Numero due. No good. We want numero uno. What's going on here? What, what, are, what position do we have here? Oh, you need to work more. Let our contestant battle it out for the next five minutes and we'll come back. Whoa.
are back. Let's see what's happening, Maria, with the... Well, the Sterling US... Oh, 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 I see the difference has shrunk to only $150. Yes? So, Jigsaw is still number one, but Ferry is a very close second. Well, we see the Sterling now just above the Double or nothing. Uh -huh. Now, here, Marie, double or nothing. On. Okay, you are on. Yes, come on. Vamos. Vamos, Ferry. Oi. $80 the difference. Euro Yen is trying to turn around. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. I, but I think Jigsaw is still in first place. I think I remember him at my last seminar in Thailand. Uh, no, 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 Marie, you are wrong. I remember him. He attended when I did a seminar in Thailand three years ago. And he yes? must have been attending okay. ever since then. Well, that's good. Obviously, he has learned from attending our seminars, yes? And Ferry, I know he has uh, watched all our webinars that we do with Exam online. As you know, we do the most webinars in 16 languages. But I think, Marie, who is number eight? Rap. Rapatik from Algeria. Rapatik from Algeria. And who is number seven? Ariel FX. Ariel FX, yes? Yes. I think these two guys definitely didn't attend one of our seminars, or if they did, they didn't use what they learned, but definitely they need private classes, yes? <laughs> okay? So maybe with their winnings they can get some private classes and uh, next time they can go for the fair, yes? Okay. So, what's happening? Oh no, the difference is widening again. So, it, we said double or nothing, right? We did. You sure? We did. Okay, let's see who's going to win. All right, let's have a look at that trace, Maria. Let's uh, see. Let's see what is happening here. Well, Jigsaw's still holding on to those Euro Yen shorts. Let's go and see the Euro Yen chart. So, if we go through the Euro Yen just to start off from the beginning, the picture we were looking at yesterday. If we go to the daily, we can see that the daily was in a strong uptrend. Um, now, just before the competition started, we had a big bearish engulfing on the daily, signaling towards a possible correction. Now, that is the move that Jigsaw must have seen and jumped in the euro yen. Now, if we take a look at the four hour, we'll see that the market is still in an uptrend, but it has lost strength particularly yeah, since the start of the obviously, week. Obviously, Maria, in a 36 hour competition, you cannot trade the daily chart, you cannot trade the four hour chart. You are going to focus on the hourly chart, yes? And here it is, and the trend on the hourly is clearly down. But I see the correction there towards the end might be enough to push very up ahead, yes? So, well, Jigsaw doesn't seem to want to close those positions no, yet. No, he's still cool, he's there, he doesn't seem to be worried. He's watching Ferry's trades more than he's watching his own. <laughs> That's true. So let's see Ferry's trade. I think Sterling should be powering ahead now. So we are full of Sterling here, yes? Yes. Oh no, what's that red candle there? That is the Sterling. We're stuck on the 1.30 level. Alright, so... Let's have a look at the general trend. And if we look at the daily time frame, we see that this is an area that has given trouble to the Sterling USD in the past three months. So I wonder, can we break this level in the next 20 minutes? If <laughs> we do that, you know who's going to power ahead, yes? And may I remind you, we just doubled the bet, right? We did, but okay, Jigsaw so is still in first place. Whoa, the difference is widening now. Come on, vamos Terry, vamos Terlina! If we put the two charts next to each other there, we see both trades moving a little bit against them at this time. Okay. That's what's keeping the difference steady. So, so it depends which one is going to move uh, more, but I see that uh, these are both hourly charts, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I see the Euro Yen has a bigger candle there, yes? Uh, its correction seems to be increasing. And now the difference between them. Of course, we have to say that we're entering into the last 14, 13 minutes of the competition. Only 13 minutes left. 13 minutes left. Oh my God. Okay, so 13 minutes left. $150 the difference. Okay, so let's go to the five minute chart and see if we can get any information from there. Let's uh, let's use the same 
template cobalt. Okay. So, what do you think, Marie? Um, I see the MACD has crossed from the five minutes. Uh, the RSI is uh, over, was over so then is moving up. They're actually both just exited from extreme territories in their direction. So, I mean, this could be a decision point about closing that position and taking whatever you have. could go both ways, yeah, but you know they are afraid to close because the other one might surge ahead. Oh, but Jigsaw is widening the difference now. I think first and second place has almost ah. been decided, the first two. Yeah, I mean, uh, we see there that, uh, well, why? Cluzo can catch up the second place at least. Let's have a look. What are his positions? Now nah, he's Euro again uh, short. So he can definitely not beat Jigsaw, who is number one. But he can catch up with Ferry, yes? So. Let's see. How about the other guys? Lee. Lee went for a contrarian dollar yen trade. Let's have a look at this trade. So Lee was long on dollar yen. Lee was short on dollar yen, took his profit, and now he went long. Just now. Uh, but he just now closed his position. So he's stabilizing in fourth place. He's way behind the first three, but way ahead the, the fifth one, yes? So, I don't know, uh, maybe he should try more and try and catch up for third place. I mean, the other guys are too far away. I mean, away. as time is running out, um, the lower you are in the ranking, the more machine gun you have to become rather than a sniper. Yeah, that's yeah. true, but I mean, it's highly unlikely for the last four to come anywhere near the first four. I think the market went against them. Let's see the trades that they did uh, that took them uh, so bad, yes? For example, uh, you are a favorite Ariel FX. Remember, he needs private lessons. He's number eight. He's losing a lot of money, and why is he losing that? He was long on the dollar yen. He, he went He still uh, is long, long on the dollar yen, and he's convinced that the market is going to go. I think this is one of the problems that traders face. He gave up. He said, okay, whatever happens, happens. And he finished the game. All right, so how about our number seven? What trades does he have? Wow, Rabadik from Algeria. Well, um, he's still short on USD yen, which we saw happening, but, but he shorted at the very low. Yes, yes, he shorted after the move happened, of so course. So let's see his closed trades. Oh, his closed trades were also long dollar yen. Then he went short. What were his biggest losers? Okay, here it is. He also went long dollar yen. Probably also using martingale strategy. Yes, and kept on buying with the result that we see there. And we see the five minutes now about to cross the MACD, about to cross above its moving average. So okay. he has about another 10 minutes to see what we can do there. But the competition is now between Jigsaw and Ferry, who they are only $80 different. Yes, I think uh, I see Jigsaw must be starting to sweat. Maria, would you like to... We are cool, we are cool, out? we are cool. Are you sure? I see that he's starting to sweat. And here we have Argentina, how much? Hundred dollars different. But Jigsaw is still cool. Yes? Okay. Alas. Done. Done? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. It was a good fight. Very good, very good. Of course, taking a look at the social media channels, now we're live with a global audience. I want to say hello to all the XM traders worldwide that are watching us. I mean, you have Ramis, we know we've um, visited many of these cities to give seminars. Um, we're very proud of giving most of the educational material out there through webinars, seminars, yes. and some of the tools. And remember, the majority of the guys here, they trained online. Yep. Uh, by watching uh, webinars that we do and uh, online with XM. 
and uh, here what do we have? We are done, finish. But Maria, there is something that we missed. There is still a competition going on between the last two. So still, there is a price difference. Only 25 to 30 dollars difference between Ariel FX and, and what's Rabadik. the price difference? Well, if we take a look at the price difference between Take seven there. and eight, uh, seven places, that 25 is 5, now. difference, yes? Why not? They should still fight it out, right? So, go to your favorite. Maybe he can get seven. Come on, don't give up. You come seven. Never give up. Yes. You can come on seventh place. Yes, let's go. Continue. Mario. What's the ranking now? Still the same. Jigsaw number one, Harry number two, and Clouseau in third place. How much time left? We are entering the last six minutes of the competition. Six minutes left. Oh my God. Six minutes. Okay. Six minutes. We can do it. We can do it. Only $100 difference. It's, uh, it's what? It's two pips, three pips difference. We can make it! Let's go! Oh my god! Marie, I think you should go to It's your, gonna be a close one. It's definitely <laughs> going to be a close one. I think you should go to your uh, favorite contestant and... Uh, the difference are about $60. $60. $16. $60. 60 60 It will very soon become $16. Oh my $28. God. $28! Vamos Argentina! Let's go! Come on! How much? Ooh, $20! Come on! We can do it here! Yes! Here! Let's go, Argentina! Come on! If Perry wins the next seminar in Argentina, I will go and deliver it! Perry, I will learn Spanish and come and deliver the course in Argentina! We've entered the last five minutes of the competition. Oh my. Five minutes to go. What five? Four minutes to go. What's the ranking, Mari? How about the last two? Okay. Rabatik has gone seventh place. Very good. Pushing what? Ariel FX into oh eighth place. Oh my god, the difference is only. Hey, hang on. I see Ferry has moved again. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Let's give him a hand, we are number one, numero uno! Yes! Four minutes left. Only four minutes left. Both of them still have their positions open. Oh my god. Chicks are falling into second place. Oh, sorry, Maria. You remember we did that? We, 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 we doubled, we yes? doubled. Okay, very good. It was on live television, it's recorded, you cannot escape, yes? And don't tell me you don't have your wallet. Of course, that was the moment we were talking about earlier where Jigsaw could have booked those profits and probably stayed ahead. Had he exited at the low of the Euro yet? Yes. Indeed, and now Sterlina is firing ahead. And we've got Ferry in the lead with about $15 oh, no, difference, which is... Up. Oh my God. Margins are this very is, tight, entering is, into the last three minutes of the competition. Three minutes to go. They are get to get. Yes? They two here. Perry and Jigsaw. Get to get. Oh, I see. Perry is getting ready to make a move. He's getting ready to close the position. And maybe. Jigsaw is back in the lead with oh, $3 no. difference. Jigsaw is in the lead. I don't believe it. Oh, no. Perry, come on. Two and a half minutes. Left. Vamos! What's going on? What did he do? He's ready to take a trade. He's ready to close. Patience, Jigsaw. Patience. He's playing the minutes. Almost there. It's amazing. I don't believe this competition. Yes? So who is number one? Jigsaw Let's is in first place. $20 difference between Argentina in Thailand, it's neck to neck, nail, nail to nail. 
Come on! What's going on? Oh my god, we have to do something. Maybe close something, open something, do something! We are running out of time! Paris, come on! No, no, you have to close something. Maybe it reverses. Jigsaw is getting ready to close something. What's happening with the rest? Here we have Claudio is a clear number three. Yes, clear, easy. We can still cut up only two minutes left. No, Ferry, you must do a move. Ferry, you must do something. You must do something. Only two minutes left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh, no. and now we are entering into the final One minute. minute of the competition. Oh no, I don't believe this. And I'm back right here, up on the stage with these two gentlemen and all MC, of the finalists. Welcome back. Ferry takes the lead in the final minute of the competition. The lead? Jigsaw takes the lead again in oh, the final no. minute of the competition. Oh no, I don't believe it. It's only five dollars. 40 seconds left, oh, ladies no. and gentlemen. It's gonna be so close. $50,000 difference between first I and second place. Away. And see what's the difference now. Jigsaw is still on the lead. He's on the number one ranking right now. So let me hear it from Thailand. Where's Thailand? Cheer up. Oh, Thailand. No. no, it's not over yet, Perry. We have time yet. We have time yet. Yes, there is still hope. All right, and we're entering into the last 10 seconds. Seven, nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, four. four. Three, two, one, time! Wow, that was something very, very exciting and very tempting. It was an amazing finish. Photo finish. <laughs> Photo finish beyond belief. So thank you very much once again, all eight of the finalists, all of our gentlemen up here. We know who's the winner, but later on, we will announce the ranking. Now everyone knows who the winner is, and definitely he's going to win back 150,000 US dollars. But the rest will take a little break here, 
and we'll give the gentlemen a few more minutes to take a rest and take a deep breath. So please enjoy your rest down at the tables. The ladies will take you down to your table. Please, this way, please. So now the ladies will guide all of our finalists back to their table so they can have a minute of rest and relaxing after a very long one hour. So please follow me here. It's been a very tempting one hour for all eight of our finalists. And you two did a wonderful job. And it was a very <laughs> <laughs> exciting and enthusiasm no, no, to no, all no, the I'm, finalists. I'm bummed I lost a bet with Mario, so that's okay. I mean, we couldn't have <laughs> wished for a more exciteful finish today. In the last seconds, we had um, second place coming back to first and then back down again. It was like they were competing between Thailand and Argentina, Argentina, Thailand, Thailand, Argentina. Yeah, like, uh, it keeps going, changing every seconds, last seconds. The last second, I mean, the competition was at the last second. What was the difference? I mean, $50 dollars difference dollars. between the first oh, and the second. We were talking about two pips. Two pips. So, ladies and gentlemen, now the competition is finished and we know who the winner is, but it's time that my two gentlemen here, our honorable instructor, would also have a few moments of relaxing minutes down at your table as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause. Thank you very much to Abramis and Mario. Thank, thank, you. thank, you. thank, you. thank you. So, please, enjoy yourself at your table down there. Wow. At the beginning, it starts slowly here, after all. But in the last seconds, as you can see, the ranking, it, it keeps changing every second, and it was our last seconds. And finally, Thailand, he won it, Jigsaw from Thailand. And well, 150,000 US dollars is definitely going into his cash pocket here. But later on, the rest of the ranking will be announced right here on the stage. So. I will, I will just say congratulations to all the eight finalists that got into the final round today. But ladies and gentlemen, not only the competition that you're here to witness, and not only such lovely dinner that everyone is enjoying yourself here, I also guarantee you that we have one of the best performances right here as well. And they are from a very famous TV program. If you're here in Thailand or if you're her, because they also have in other countries as well. They're from a very famous TV program called Thailand Got Talent 5. So ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready, please give it up for the amazing laser show, Thailand!
A big round of applause for the amazing Laser Show Thailand. Thank you very much to all of our performers right here. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that we've all been waiting for as well for the award-winning ceremony. A minute ago, everyone found out already for the winner that won 150 thousand US dollars back in cash today but the rest of the ranking is right here and I have it in my hand so ladies and gentlemen let's proceed to the award winning ceremony we will start announcing from the eighth ranking and first of all I would like to invite the person that would do the honor to present the award to the eighth ranking ladies and gentlemen please welcome to mr. Chris Christopher the business development manager The eighth ranking, which will receive a trophy and a twenty thousand US dollars in cash. The eighth ranking goes to Indonesia by the name of Messiah Real. Congratulations! Please come on up on stage on the way from Indonesia to join us. So he's receiving a lovely bouquet of flower. We have a trophy for him and 20,000 US dollars in cash for him. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause. Congratulations to our eighth ranking from Indonesia. There's our trophy for joining in the Forex World Championship from XM and his 20,000 US dollars check. Yes, you need to hold that trophy with your 20,000 US dollars. All right, perfect. One more picture. Thank you very much. Congratulations from Indonesia and thank you to Chris. Thank you very much, Chris. Next, moving on to the seventh ranking. And I would like to invite Simas Kunis, the head of international administration, to award this. And our seventh ranking will receive a trophy and $25,000 in cash. And it goes to Algeria, Mr. Rabba Leghol. Congratulations. Come on up on stage, please. Of course, a lovely bouquet of flowers for him, our seventh ranking from Algeria. It's a round right here. And your trophy. Yes, give a big smile to the camera. And of course, don't forget the 25,000 US dollars. Congratulations to Mr. Robert from Algeria and thank you very much to Mr. Simos. And now moving on to the sixth ranking. I would like to invite Mario Pracharides up here once again on the stage. And of course the sixth ranking will receive a trophy and 30 thousand US dollars in cash for this prize and it goes to 
Bangladesh, Mr. Tapas Kanti Rashid. Congratulations. From Bangladesh, and thank you to Mario. Thank you. Next, we're moving on to the fifth ranking here. May I invite Yu Chen Su, the head of China operations, to present this award? And the fifth ranking will receive a trophy along with 35,000 US dollars. And this prize goes to. India, Mr. Anand Virani Haripai. Congratulations. Congratulations to India here, Mr. Anand here, receiving this lovely flower, his trophy, and a 35,000 US dollar. One more picture. Congratulations and also thank you to Yu Sing Su. And now move on to the fourth ranking. May I invite Harris Polidevsky, the business development director up here to join me, please. And of course, the fourth ranking will receive a trophy and 40,000 US dollars. And it goes to China. It's a Yan Hui Lu from China. Congratulations. Receiving this flowers, this trophy, and the 40,000 US dollars. Keep a big smile and you are don't forget the 40,000 US dollars. Yes, I wouldn't forget that. Congratulations from China and thank you to Mr. Powers. Next, going very fast, you're moving to the third ranking here. May I invite Mr. Abramis Despotis once again on the stage. So of course, the third ranking here will receive a trophy and 75,000 US dollars for his prize. The third ranking goes to... Brazil, Mr. Gustav Ricardo dos Santos from Brazil. Congratulations. Welcoming up here on the stage and please to claim your prize for the third ranking. 75,000 US dollars is waiting for you. Congratulations. We have a lovely flower for you. One picture. All right, and a trophy. Right, there you go. Perfect. And don't forget the 75,000 US dollar. Congratulations to Brazil, Mr. Sismos, and of course, thank you very much to Mr. Abramis Despotis. Thank you. We're moving up very, very fast now, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, on the second ranking of tonight, it was very exciting at the very last minute and the very last second as well. So I would like to invite 
Mr. Talos Anastasius, our XM Executive Director, to please award this prize. The second ranking will receive a trophy, and the prize is 100,000 US dollar, and of course, this prize go to Argentina, Mr. Orma Marcelo Moteni. Congratulations. Please come on up and claim your prize. We have a lovely flower for you. And of course, the trophy. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, 100,000 US dollar for the second ranking. Congratulations and thank you to Mr. Talos Anastasios. Thank you, sir. And now, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the next prize is for the winner coming up on stage to claim his trophy and the price of 150,000 US dollar. Of course, the winner, we already know who he is, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause for Thailand. May I invite Mr. Tassos. Mr. Tassos, please. to Thailand! Let's take picture. Let me hear it from Thailand! One more time, congratulations to Thailand! And of course, your trophy is waiting for you. Your trophy is waiting for you, and 150,000 US dollar is waiting. And there you go, the trophy.
Everyone did such a wonderful job here, and you really earned all the prize you have won tonight. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen, one more time for all the winners up here on the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you. Woo! Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Casos. Thank you. So the press and the media are uh, taking a lot of photos because this is one of a kind of a huge event happening right here in Bangkok, Thailand for XM 1 Million Forex World Championship. Thank you very much to all the finalists. You are all winner. Now this is the moment for the winner to take his time and pride for taking a lot of photos up here on the stage. We'll just give him a few more minutes to take photos so that the press and the media here could do some good news tomorrow. Congratulations one again. They've been going through so much here because as you heard in the beginning, there were 10 qualifying rounds before they progressed into the semi-final round. So in order to go to the semi-final round from all the 10 qualifying, the top five traders from each of the qualifying rounds then progress to the semi-final. And then from the semi-final round here, 50 of them compete with each other. Only 10 finalists that got into the final round. But lastly, tonight, there were only eight that made it tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it one more time for Thailand. Jigsaw from Thailand. Thank you and congratulations. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we know the winner. You enjoy the dinner. I think it's time that we start giving out some prizes from all of our audience in this room right now. Is there anyone who hasn't put in their name cards in here? We have our cards in here at the registration in the evening. Anyone else? Please? Any more? We're going to close the box right now for the lucky draw. Okay, while we're waiting here, just to announce that, in the first round of our lucky draw here, we have a GoPro Hero 5 to give out. We have iPad Air 2 to give away. So this is all. No more. Anyone else? 10, 9 before I close this box. 8, 7, 6. Anyone else? Five, four, three, no more. You haven't put in, really? <laughs> Two, one. Okay, I'm just gonna close the box for now, for the first round. So as I mentioned, we're gonna give away GoPro Hero 5, two of them, and one iPad Air 2. So first, let's go for the GoPro Hero 5. So can I have Roy Faisal, the XM Malaysia up here? Where's Roy? Give it up to Roy. Okay, he's gonna come up here and join me. You're gonna be the first to draw up our lucky person for tonight. Okay, one lucky person to receive a GoPro Hero 5. Okay, we we'll start spinning up the box. Now it's open and only one person. One lucky person to receive this GoPro Hero 5. And it goes to... Number... 2101-2710 Okay, can the camera zoom in? 2101-2710 do we have our lucky person? We need to check if it's the same number. Same number? Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first lucky person. Congratulations. Please come on up, claim your prize.
And now we have our first lucky person to receive this GoPro Hero 5. Thank you very much, thank you. Congratulations, thank you to Roy. Okay. Well, since we're here in, in Bangkok, in Thailand, I really need to speak in Thai, right? <laughs> okay, next prize, let's go for iPad Air 2. Okay, we have one more. One more person. All right. Can I have Yapi Johannes, XM Indonesia, up here with me, please? Please welcome Yapi Johannes from XM Indonesia. Okay, he's here. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your dinner. <laughs> okay. Only one prize. รางวัลต่อไปจะเป็นไอแพดแอร์สองนะคะหนึ่งรางวัลค่ะ。And the lucky person goes to number two one zero zero four nine nine four. หมายเลขนะคะหมายเลขที่ขึ้นบนหน้าจอสองหนึ่งศูนย์ศูนย์สี่เก้าเก้าสี่We have a lucky person. I hear some noises. Is it correct? Okay, we have a lucky person to receive this iPad Air 2. All right, here's your prize is here. Congratulations, congratulations. You need one Thank you to Mr. Yapi Johannes. Thank you. And next is the last prize for the first round of our lucky draw. We have our second prize for the GoPro Hero 5. May I have Kun Prabhakamun and Kun Parishat from XM Thailand. Please join me up here. เรียนเชิญเลยนะคะทั้งสองท่านเลยค่ะคุณประภากมลกับคุณปริชัดนะคะโอเค only one prize รางวัลเดียวเท่านั้นนะคะสำหรับ GoPro Hero 5 แบบกล้อง GoPro and the lucky person goes to number two four zero three five eight หมายเลขผู้โชคดีของเราเดี่ยวจะขึ้นบนหน้าจอนะคะสองสี่ศูนย์สามห้าแปดสี่สามค่ะ。Anyone with this lucky number? We have a lucky person. มาแล้วนะคะขอตรวจสอบก่อนนิดนึงนะคะ. If it's the same number, then this GoPro is yours. And we have a lucky person. Congratulations. Congratulations to a lucky person and thank you very much. Thank you to Kun Pahakamon and Kun Parishad here. So that's only for the first round of our lucky draw session. For those who haven't received any prizes yet, don't worry. I have one more round of our lucky draw sessions. And just for your information, to build up your enthusiasm is that the next round, we're going to give away iPad Air 2. We have iPhone 7. We have Samsung S8 and the grand prize for tonight, the grand prize for tonight is gold bar 30 grams. We will get the grand prize for tonight. The grand prize for tonight is gold bar 30 grams. We will get the grand prize for tonight. The grand prize for tonight is gold bar 30 grams. We will get the grand prize for tonight. The grand prize for tonight is gold bar 30 grams. We will get the grand prize for tonight. The grand prize for tonight is gold bar 30 grams. We will get the grand prize for tonight. In only a few more minutes, and I'm gonna come back. By the time I'm back here, that means that we're gonna go for the second round of the lucky draw. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, while you're enjoying your dinner, and for all of the finalists as well, all the winners here, please do eat a lot. 
You've been going on for one hour here and using a lot of energies here. So you need to eat up here because we have well-selected dinner for all of you. Such performances will be coming up on the stage. And at the end, we also have after party as well. If you're looking forward for our DJ at the end, we also have that as well after you finish your dinner tonight. So performances will come up, DJs will come up here, and the prizes as well. Don't forget that the prizes will only be awarded to the person that are here in this room. And you need to bring the tickets with you when you come up and claim your prizes as well. But for now, please enjoy your dinner. The main course is serving as well. And I have such a lovely band. And I think they're ready right now to give it up. So ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my live band. See, I'm Yum, and they're one of the band that won the Coca-Cola Award. Can you promote the band of ours? She's a beautiful one, and I tell her every day. Yeah, I know, I know, I can't with her, she won't believe me. It's so, it's so, I think she doesn't see what I see. But every time she asks me, do I look okay? I say, well, see your face. It's not a thing. Good evening. 
please and turn to my VR. See how I'm young, bang. All the cities out there, let's try that. Keep it coming, everybody. Let's move on to it. The club is in the best place, part of our love. My friend at the gym do a chocolate and find that we talk slow. Come on and start a conversation with just me. Trust me, give it a chance now. Turn my hands up, but I'm gonna do fuck them. We start to dance. Now singing like her, you know I want your love. Your love was handmade for somebody like me. Come on now, follow my lead. I may be crazy, don't mind me. Say, boy, let's not talk too much. Grab all my waist and put that body on me. Come on now, follow my lead.
the price tag, and say the cash back. Just give me six strings and a half set. Do you get the gift of cost? Let me take a rush. And all I just all I need, I get to send it to us. And guess what? Inside the seven cell look to us. Who will have been a fast this and to be a bull up this like this man? You can't put a price on a lot. You do this for well, love, so if I sacrifice the way I've been So we ain't just a boy and ball, never.
What's the serious girl? What a tickle. We just get inside and don't you tiptoe, tiptoe. We some must be, we some must be. You should be on me, you should be on me. Ah, oh, you really love fantasy, you really love fantasy. But you move so carefully, let's start with the dances. Touch me, baby. And going by on two swings and grabbing up Let's do some mice and go crazy crazy I, 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 I Keep on hoping we change by the ocean Go again, go again, make me love you. Yeah, 
Sleeping. Are you sleeping already, everybody? Oh, no, they're just having dinner. Yeah. Enjoy your dinner. All right. So, all the rude daddy is in law, I guess. Saturday morning, tremble up in I put on my bed suit Lock in my car and rest like a jet All the way to you Knock on your door with heart in my hand To ask your question Cause I don't think you're a fashion man Can you have a daughter for the rest of my life? Say yes, say yes, cause I need to know Say so you'll never get you blessed until the day I die It's all not my friend, but the answer is no Why can't I be so
say yes, say yes, cause I need you know. So never get you less to the day I die on my mind. The answer is no, why can't be so rude? 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 Gonna marry anyway, marry that girl. Marry anyway, marry that girl. No matter what you say, marry that girl. I can be a family. Why can't
clap for us. See you Yam Band. Thank you. A big round of applause for our live band here. Okay, so let's take a break from the live band and come back on the stage here because as I promised everyone that by the time I come back up here once again, we're going to go for the second round of the lucky draw. So let's see the list in my hand right now. The next prize that we are going to give away is the iPad Air 2, one prize. So may I invite Kun Sutnanha and Kun Pichapat from XM Thailand to join me up here. Give it up for both of them. คุณพิชาพาจาก XM Thailand ของเรานั่นเองค่ะ Okay Our two gorgeous ladies are gonna give away One prize, one lucky person for iPad Air 2 1 round one Okay, we're gonna spin, spin, spin Alright, ready Only one lucky person And now the lucky number is number 4027176 คะมีมั้ยเอ่ย I hear some noises from this side of the stage Anyone by this number counting 1 2 do we have a lucky person? Oh, he's here. ขอตรวจสอบก่อนนะฮะใช่มั้ยเอ่ยใช่มั้ยฮะถูกต้องนะฮะ And we have our lucky person, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause. Congratulations. ยินดีด้วยนะคะ All right, this is your prize here, iPad Air 2. Congratulations. Look straight to the camera. มองกล้องด้านหน้าเลยนะคะแล้วก็ยิ้มหวานๆได้เลย All right, congratulations and thank you to Kun Sunanha and Kun Pishapat for coming up here from XM Thailand. The next prize, we're gonna go for iPhone 7. Ah, ใครเป็นแฟนบันแฮ iPhone 7 นะฮะเดี๋ยวจะแจกกันเลยหนึ่งรางวัลค่ะ May I have Mr. Constantinos Leo Tatis, XM International Administration. Okay, please join me up here. We're gonna give away iPhone 7. One lucky person. Okay, so we're gonna start spinning. We're gonna close that first and spin. Now, one lucky person for the iPhone 7. Who is it gonna be? And we have a lucky number and it's Number three zero seven two zero five one. So you can look again on the screen. Sam Soon Ted Song Soon Ha Nung. Anyone by this number? We have a lucky person from this side. Congratulations. Congratulations. There's only one prize for iPhone 7. You're very lucky tonight. Thank you very much to Mr. Constantinos. And the next prize, well, we gave away iPhone. So the next prize has to be Samsung. So the next prize is Samsung S8. Samsung S8. Can I have Mr. Stefanos Halarampus up here once again? Mr. Stefanos, please welcome. One lucky person for this Samsung S8. Ah, yes, with your eye closed. <laughs> and now, the lucky number 2405. Eight nine eight nine. 
เราได้หมายเลขผู้โชคดีแล้วนะคะ2 4 0 5 8 9 8 9ค่ะ Anyone by this lucky number please take a good look at your ticket Anyone we have a lucky person to receive this prize now he's going back for his ticket หาอยู่นะคะหาอยู่ค่ะว่าส่วนที่เหลืออยู่ที่ไหนคะชิ้นส่วนที่สอง We need to recheck your ticket once again. If it's the same number, then you can get the Samsung S8. ใช่ไหมคะตรงไม่เอ่ย All right, we have a lucky person for Samsung S8. Congratulations! Come on up. All right, let's take some photos. The next prize is going to be the grand prize. Thank you very much, Mr. Stefanos. Thank you and congratulations to our lucky person. รางวัลนี้เป็นรางวัลสุดท้ายแล้วนะคะที่จะทําการแจกด้านบนเวทีตามที่ได้บอกไปค่ะไฮไลท์เลยของค่ำคืนนี้เป็นทองคําแท่งน้ําหนัก30กรัมนะคะลองเช็คกันดูประมวลกันดูเอ๊ะตอนนี้นะคะสาสิบกรัมน่าจะตกอยู่ประมาณสักเท่าไหร่นะคะ So The next prize is the grand prize with a gold bar, weight 30 grams. So it's around, it's around roughly 1,000 US dollars. So this prize, can I have Mr. Chris Christotomu up here? All right, Chris, come on up. Welcoming up here, Chris. So Chris is going to draw up only one lucky person. To receive the grand prize, this gold bar, 30 grams, and it's worth 100,000, uh, 1,000 US dollar. Yes, not 100,000, <laughs> 1,000 US dollar. I know everyone loves gold. And I'm going to be very envy at a lucky person. And now we have the lucky person to receive the grand prize. Goes to number. Two, one, zero, one, four, nine, five, six. The number will appear on the screen once again. My leg, two, one, zero, one, four, nine, five, six. Do we have a lucky person here tonight? And there she is, coming up on the stage for the grand prize. 1,000. The grand prize of gold bar, 30 grams worth 1,000 US dollar. We need to recheck her ticket. ขออนุญาตตรวจสอบยาวนานเกินสักนิดหนึ่งถูกต้องใช่ไหมคะขอเสียงปรบมือกับผู้โชคดีของเราด้วยค่ะ Congratulations to a very very lucky person tonight. You're very lucky. And everyone in this room is very envy of you to receive the grand prize. Okay, we're gonna take some lovely photos together. Yes, you need to hold on that gold bar because it is yours from now on. One big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. We have the lucky person to receive this gold bar. Congratulations, and thank you very much to Chris. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you very much. And now that we have given out all the lucky prizes here, so, and now, how are you guys doing for all of those that didn't receive any prize? บางท่านบอกว่าคืนนี้ยังไม่ได้อะไรเลยมีไหมคะโอเค can I see some hands who didn't receive any prize at all from this side so many of you and what about this side ฝั่งนี้มีไหมคะไม่ได้อะไรเลยขอดูมือนิดหนึ่ง can I see some hands up put your hands up if you didn't get anything tonight you didn't want any prize nothing well don't worry because I still have one more surprise coming up for you on the stage. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes up from now on. As for all the audience that are up here with us, tonight has been such a wonderful night for all of us here. And did you know that there were audience watching from all around the world? Because I have informed everyone since the beginning that we have our live broadcasting on Facebook. And there were 650,000 audience watching us live on Facebook. All together, 650,000 audience watching live from all over the world. Over 190 countries that have joined, participating, watching us live from Facebook. This evening's event, not only the audiences in this room with us, not only you guys that are here witnessing, but people from all around the world. Could you believe that? This is something major. This is something that the one million dollar Forex World Championship has been incredible event over the past 14 months. So ladies and gentlemen, we were so happy to be able to share this experience to all of our fans which are watching from Facebook and of course the audiences that are here with us in this room as well. So ladies and gentlemen, until the next time, XM would like to say thank you very much and please have a wonderful night and of course good night from Bangkok. <laughs>